Okay, so this is basic programming three. So let's take a look at our task. We want to turn both motors on the same direction for two seconds, turn off the left motor for two, swap which motors are on for two seconds, and then all off. So I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to first do a save as. Right now this is BP2, so I'll go file, save as. I'll call this BP3. And we'll put our task description right in here. And I'm actually going to hit the return so we can see these. And this kind of breaks it down into what we're what we're trying to accomplish in the steps. So our pseudocode, we're going to start the left motor and then we're going to start the right motor as well. And we need to make sure that these are moving in the same direction. We're going to say positive 50 for both. Um, but when we look at our setup, usually motors that are in a mirror image situation of each other, they're going to need to be one positive and one negative. Or there's a couple other things that we can do, which I'll talk to you about then. So we've got two seconds. We're going to stop the left motor and keep the right motor running for two seconds. And then we're going to start the left motor again. And we're going to stop the right motor for two seconds. And then we need to stop that left motor. So this is our pseudocode. And then we're going to go ahead and program this. So we don't need this while. We'll get to that later. And we're just going to modify some of this code that I had before. And so we want to start left and right motors. So we're going to do another. We're going to copy and paste this. We'll change this to right. Uh, we're going to do a wait for two seconds. So we'll copy this and paste it here. Wait for two, stop, left motor, wait for two, start the left motor, and we need to stop the right motor. Copy and paste this. Again, control C and control V, your best friends. Okay. That should do it. Uh, let's try it. So we're going to download. I'm going to switch over to the camera so you can see my two motors running. And we'll give it a look. So we'll compile. We don't have any errors. That's good. Our main battery needs to be on. Check. That's my servo humming to get to the spot. Great. Let's go and take a look at our motor setup here. Okay, so here's my motor setup. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit start. And then see what happens with the motors. Okay, so uh, if you didn't see that, first of all, this motor is kind of messed up. Um, and I can feel it. It is crunchy on the inside. Um, uh, maybe. We'll see. Let's see if, if that works better. We'll start it again. Yeah, so this is kind of messed up. Uh, this one's fine, but this one's messed up. But if you notice, they're spinning in, the, in opposite directions because they're mirror images of each other in the way that they're set up. And usually that's how you build. Like if you had a robot, you'd have a mirror image like this. These are two different motors, but uh, hopefully you get the idea. So when I run them, to get them to run the same direction, um, they actually have to be, so if I put them mirror images, one has to be reversed from the other one. So if I hit start, you'll see one's going forward and one's going backward. 
Um, so they're going in kind of different directions. So we've got to fix we've got to fix that. So to fix it, we're going to go back to our motor and sensor setup. And it really depends on your build which way is forward and which way is backward. But I'm going to say that the um, right motor in port 1 is incorrect. So I'm going to click this reverse tab right here. And what that does, that will now reverse that motor direction. So there's three ways you can reverse a motor direction. The first is with software. And you could just put a negative in here. The problem with that is that usually your positives mean forward and your negatives mean backward. So putting a negative there, although fixes the problem, uh, is problematic in your code later on because then you might want to go forward and you put in a positive value, but you really meant to go backward, or then you're going backward instead. So um, I would fix it in your motor and sensor setup. So there's one way. It's actually in the code. Make it a positive, a negative, or a negative, a positive. The best way is to go in here and change this to reversed when you do it. The third way is actually on the cortex. So if we look at the cortex, um, you could change the polarity of your wire, the way it's plugged in. So the cortex is designed that if you unplug this, you can actually plug it in the opposite direction. Um, it does have a tab, if you notice right there on the top, that will allow you to plug it in with the red to the outside. Um, I've instructed my students that you always want the black to the outside. Um, that way if you're using sensors that are not VEX sensors that don't have the keys on them, you know that your ground line is to the outside. So always put your negative to the outside. Um, if you're using a motor controller 29 with the motors, um, you would have the polarities reversed. So you would plug in the positive to negative and negative to positive. Again, the problem with that is that when if you're in competition and something comes unplugged and you're going to plug it in quickly and that particular motor was red to black and black to red, how did you know that? How would you know that? Um, so it's really good to keep your polarities correct, keep everything plugged into the cortex the proper way, and fix it the best way, which is actually in your motor and sensor setup, by hitting the reverse check button. Uh, when we do that, if I re-download now, Take a look, I'll hold these up again, and then so let's hit start. And now you can see they're both going in the same direction. It's kind of hard to see, it looks like this one's going backward, but it was it was going this direction, and so is this. They're both going in this direction, which would be forward in this case the way that I have them. Um, but again, that, it's a little too fast for the, the refresh rate of the computer or the camera is not fast enough to pick that up. So it looks like these are going in reverse. It's kind of funny. Um, but anyhow, that worked out. That's the way I want it. So that's how I'm going to keep it. That is BP3.